see you both in hell. And cut! All right, you guys, that was perfect. I loved it. Seemed rushed. Can we do another take? No, Jamie, we're not going to do that one again, okay? It's late, it's going to snow in the morning, we got to get home. All right, you can get up. That's what cut means. Pack it up, Hello? you guys, let's get out of here. Have a great night, good job. Why don't you go and get cleaned up? I think he hurt his back or something. I'll help him up. Dave! Hey! Let's get up. I think he's dead. Dave? He's dead. You killed him. I stabbed him. Like you wrote it. Didn't feel right. Like the blade didn't retract properly. So what do we do? So what do we do? What do we do? Do we call 911? No. We need to think about this. You need help carrying anything else, boss? This is really perfect, you guys. I didn't think we were gonna get this one in tonight. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this at all. Man, the guy playing the dead body that we carried here? That was impressive. I really believed he was dead. <laughs> this is awesome. Was, the, was there like a rewrite or something? I don't remember seeing the script. Yeah. The director's just gonna film us pretending to bury him. Keep digging. We're gonna need a bigger hole now. Accidents happen all the time. And uh, uh, Dave, he was replaceable. Uh, I had all their applicants for the role. I mean, it's easy to fill. He's a man in a mask. What about that crew, grip guy? How are you gonna explain that? Grip guy. What was his name, anyway? <sighs> Grip guy. Um, what was he doing? Standing there with a reflector? I mean, we could get anybody to do that. A homeless guy could do it. Right? Don't forget, we gotta clean that shovel. Tonight, the harrowing tale behind the scenes on the film, Dark Directions. This is Hard Story, and I'm Georgia Zane. We've all seen the actual footage of the first stabbing death, and read the reports about missing crew members. We know how difficult and terrifying this must have been for you. Can you tell us more about when you began to suspect that these deaths were more than just accidental? I still don't like just replacing actors that I had a connection with. Replacing actors? Come on, he's a man in a mask, and he has no lines. Look, everything's fine. He's great. What? You say I get a line? Great. Uh, I had this my demo reel. Well, what about Brian? Look. The grip. He didn't even show up either this morning. Well, sure, he's fine. Look, my phone's ringing. I gotta take this, okay? We'll check up on Brian. Are you, are you kidding? Unbelievable. Can someone please get me coffee or something? Like, I'm so cold. I'm no, I not even real. no. Yeah, I know it's the next week. Look, we've had some delays. I know exactly who we're dealing with here. <sighs> Look, we had some delays. What can I say? You don't have to threaten me. I'm gonna get this thing done one way or another. It's gonna be in the can. Bill, you got the gun? It's all set to go. Ready? Guys, we ready for the next scene? I'm ready for the next scene. Here you go. Do this. <laughs> Good enough. Only at the end. It's fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're good. Okay. 
Are we doing this or what? You know, she's going to be a whole lot harder to replace. But honestly, I think we have a real opportunity here. She wasn't that believable anyways. You got blood on your face. Don't smear it around, man. Oh. You know, I, I couldn't just have her ruining the movie. Yeah. I guess that's why... The Union films. They use prop guns. Okay. Easy. Finger out of the tree. Yeah. Thank you. The newspapers reported that although this independent, low-budget production had no permits, the authorities received no emergency calls about gunshots or a foot chase. Nor did they ever find two of the actors from that scene. It seems that many local filmmakers are skilled at finding secluded locations and filming guerrilla style. Scary. How with all these COVID craft services rules, people could still get poisoned. Follow the lines, wear a mask, won't eat with any witnesses. It's like a prison. Come on, bury these four already, would you? We gotta get back into town. I gotta put out a casting call for tomorrow's shoot. I need new bodies. My investor needs me to put something out to him by next week or I'm dead. Dead! Dead! Nobody touches you. It's pretty much all of your regular troop. Maybe we should just wrap this up now. Wrap what up? We got three more weeks on the shoot. You actually want to believe that I don't know what a real knife feels like or that I can't tell the difference between real bullets and blanks? Maybe I can't. Maybe you can. Didn't take you long to decide that a few more deaths just a cost to doing business. That's crap, man. You didn't wrestle your demons for long at all. You about done. Think about the first time that your low-end shortcuts killed someone on set. Come on, man. That was an accident. That was a stunt gone wrong. Your arrogance and incompetence guarantees accidents. You your pathetic band of regular wannabes. We are all just so thankful that things ended the way they did. But let's pick it up and watch the found footage from the truck's dash cam. <laughs> Terrifying. Of course our producers had to censor the final brutal seconds. Tell us more about the investigation and the film. It's despicable what that man did for fortune and fame, killing my cast and crew. Truly a tragedy. I almost didn't make it out alive. But I don't think he could tell a bullet from a blank. <laughs> Miraculously, the film was completed and went on to become a huge cult hit. So huge, in fact, that production on my sequel begins next month.